Hi, I'm Kelly Meyer with Monterado Guitars. I'm here to talk to you today about the Viola model. We recently featured in the uh, Guitar Aficionado Top Gear Award for November, December of 2014. I'm a luthier from Colorado and I build guitars based on violin techniques of construction. This guitar was featured uh, with Benedetto pickups, a six-way selector that gives you six positions of the humbuckers. So you have your humbucker positions in one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and you have your single coil positions, one, two, and three, single, double, single. This guitar is graduated and uh, built based on violin techniques of construction. It has inlaid piezos to the string gauge of the client. This allows for better intonation um, and because the string, the piezos are actually uh, encased in the ebony, it actually gives more of a resonant tone to the piezos which normally sound a little thin. It's uh, completely based on violin techniques. It's got the tailpiece like a normal uh, cello gut um, with a suspended tailpiece on there. It's accentuated and also reinforced with um, stainless steel inserts or brass. This is a completely customizable, customizable guitar that can be built to any spec that the, string, uh, that the client wants based on string, neck, feel, weight. Uh, this particular guitar also is very light. It weighs four and a half pounds. My company is called Monterado because I'm from Montana, my wife is from Colorado, so there you go. I build arch tops, electrics, acoustics, theme guitars, um, all based on a player's needs. The one thing that you'll find out about my guitars, for example, I build into the guitar the ergonomic into the guitar for the player. When you're looking at the bridge, the guitar itself tilts anywhere from one, two, three or four degrees. What this does is when you're holding the guitar, especially in the standing position with the strap, the neck actually meets your hand faster. So what that does is it doesn't require you to reach around the neck. What you're able to do is you're actually able to get in there and play a little bit more comfortable, a little bit less fatigue, and allows you to go longer. It's different. You don't know that it's there when you're playing it. It's just one of those things that's subtle that really makes a big difference, especially if you have any issues with your wrist, carpal tunnel, stuff like that. It really helps. Um, so anyway, I'm a, I'm a luthier that thinks outside the box. I also like to shoot my guitars as well. Because I am from Montana, there's no reason why you can't have a little bit of fun. And go ahead and shoot a couple holes in there. This is actually the bullet that I use uh, for, for shooting the holes in the guitar. Those are the beauty rings from the casings that I shot in there. This guitar features reclaimed lumber. The lumber itself is off of a lineman's truck. Um, and then the so-called bad part of the wood I use for the beautiful decoration of the top wood. And then resawed off the bottom of that wood, I use the good part of the underside of the board for the neck. Carbon fiber, dual carbon fiber reinforced, double action truss rods. Uh, even the, even the uh, strap um, pins here are antique railroad markers. This one's a 1910, and this one here is a 1923. The other thing that's cool about this guitar is that when you need a spot to put a pick, <laughs> it's not gonna work, is it? You need a spot to put a pick, there you go. Just find the next available crack and you're good to go. So anyway, I'm Kelly with Monterado Guitars. Visit me at www.monterado.com. Thanks.